I'd like to jog in a few different directions over the next period of time, if I can, of great interest to me and great interest to a lot of members is the commitment that we owe to our nation's military heroes. Over four decades ago, at one of the two Marine Corps bases in America, Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina, they experienced serious contamination of its water. That contamination is likely the worst environmental exposure incident on a domestic military installation in the history of the country. Both in the magnitude of the population potentially exposed to volatile organic solvents and the duration of the contamination estimated to be 30 years or longer. Hundreds of thousands of veterans, their families, along with civilian workers, cycled through Camp Lejeune from the busy years of World War II through the Vietnam conflict and into the mid-80s as we rebuilt our modern military. During these decades, unbeknownst to the base residents, the wells feeding the water supply on the base were drawing water from an aquifer contaminated with industrial chemicals that were dumped on the base, like the degreasing solvent, TCE, a known human carcinogen. Another carcinogen, benzene, from leaking underground fuel storage tanks, along with the dry cleaning solvent, solvent PCE, and a third human carcinogen, vinyl chloride. The Navy and Marine Corps began to test some of the base wells in the 1980s to comply with federal regulations, and apparently to also locate the source of various contaminations. Yet it would take several more years and numerous warning signs before the Navy finally decided it should shut the wells down in 1985 through 1987. As we know now, the Navy and Marines had specific regulations on their own to maintain safe drinking water and test for contaminants. Had they adhered to their regulation, the many years of problems at Camp Lejeune might have been avoided. It's also important to note that the source of those contaminations should never have been in question since Lejeune's drinking water was then and is now solely derived from the wells located within the perimeters of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. In 1989, the EPA designated Camp Lejeune a Superfund site, and in 1991, the CDC, via its Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, or ASTDR, began a statutorily mandated study of the contamination. Those studies continue to this day, in large part because the Navy's records of the contamination were not completely turned over to the ATSDR until 2009 and 2010. Scientists at the ATSDR and others involved in its review of the Navy's records have stated that the levels of certain contamination, contaminants recorded in well samples taken by the Navy were at such high levels that they have never been seen before, and in many cases they far exceed what we now consider to be safe levels for drinking water. Well, the Veterans Administration is awarding disability benefits to Lejeune veterans on a case-by-case -case basis today. But that's a slow and unpredictable process while many are suffering without adequate health care. It's my hope that in the coming weeks, we will finally pass critical legislation in this Congress to require the VA to take care of the veterans and their family members. Many of them are ill from exposure related conditions and have no other means of getting health care. They are rightly looking to the VA and to the Congress for help. If we can get this legislation passed, it will be a starting point on the road to doing the right thing for those who have sacrificed so much for our nation. I just think it's absolutely a crime that now, some 40 years later, we haven't even completed the studies that we need to to understand the severity of the problems that we have. I might add that some of the 
service members and some of the family members that served at Camp Lejeune during this time uh, are no longer with us. So it's hard to reconstruct exactly why, but I can assure you when you have some estimate 10 times the number of male breast cancer cases from people that lived on that base during that time, one might conclude that it was a hot spot based upon its drinking water. My hope is that this Congress will move forward with a very small initial step, but also make a commitment to these family members and service members to not quit until we do the right thing.